Welcome to AmirAcademy.com. In modern physics, let us discuss about relativity. The relativistic character of the laws of physics began to the apparent very early. In the evolution of classical physics, even before the time of Galileo and Newton, Nicholas Copernicus had shown that the complicated and imprecise Aristotelian method of computing the motion of the planets based on the assumption that it was located at the center of the universe could be made much simpler though no more accurate if it were assumed that the planets move about the sun instead of earth. Although Copernicus did not publish his book work until very late in his life. It became widely known through correspondence with his contemporaries and helped form the way of acceptance a century later of the heliocentric theory of planetary motion. While the Copernican theory led to a dramatic revolution in human thoughts, the aspect that concerns us here is that is that it did not consider the location of earth to be special or favored in any way. Thus the law of physics discovered on earth could apply equally well with any point taken as the center. That is, the same equation would be obtained regardless of the origin of the coordinates. Here, regarding the relativity, first we will discuss about special relativity. Most of the people, uh, people are physicists, know about twin paradox. Here, consider the two twin brothers is in the at, at some time. Out of them, one person travels with a very high speed uh, plane or something, a very high speed, that means near to light speed. Suppose, consider he traveling and that is out of our uh, earth. After, after some years, he came back and he met his twin brother, but who went out of that earth, traveling high speed and come back as he is young than his brother's age who is living in earth. That means his age is, that is his time is little slow. That means a person who travels very high speed, his age is somewhat stopped. That means his time is slack. Means his time is slowed down for him. But this person who is living in earth, his time is normal. This is a called twin paradox. But most of the people cannot believe this, but it's real. Einstein theory is divided into special and general relativity. Special relativity came first and is based on the speed of light being constant for everyone. That may seem, seem simple enough, but it is it has far-reaching consequences. Einstein came to his conclusion in 1905 after experimental evidence showed that the speed of light did not change as the earth swing around the sun. That means even earth swing around the sun, but light speed is constant everywhere. This result was surprising that to physics because, because the speed of most other things depends on what direction the observer is moving. That means the uh, source, the something is, some vehicle is moving, you are on the vehicle. That means the same direction, one more vehicle is moving like your same direction but it seems to be that other vehicle is not moving or slowing down but other vehicle is coming opposite uh, you you resembles that uh, opposite vehicle is very faster because it's different direction but it is not same for it not for that light speed because even source is moving or not that that light speed is constant he says if you Drive your car alongside a railroad track, a train coming at you will seem to be moving much faster than if you turned around and followed it in the same direction. 
Einstein said that all observers will measure the speed of light to be 3 lakhs per sec kilometer per second. No matter how fast and what direction they are moving. This Maxim prompted the here next the contradictory versions arise because rollers and clocks the things that mark time and space are not the same for different observers. If the speed of light is to be held constant as Einstein said then time and space cannot be absolute they must be subjective means time and space is not uh, constant uh, the time is not constant in everywhere but it seems to be constant in the air because our speed is not so much very less compared to the speed of light for instance a 100 foot long spaceship traveling at 99.99 percent .99 of the speed of the light will appear one foot long to a stationary observer but it will remain its normal length of those on board perhaps even where where the time passes slower the faster one goes that means over moving faster his time is slow, slowed down if a twin rides in the speeding spaceship to some distant stops and then comes back she will be younger than her sister who stay on earth we discussed before mass also depends on speed the faster an object moves the more massive it becomes that means if you are moving faster your mass is more and more if you reach the right speed your mass is infinity in fact no spaceship can ever reach the hundred percent of the speed of a light because its mass would grow to infinity that means if you are uh, traveling equal to the speed of the light your mass or the mass of spaceship everything is infinity it's uh, it's not reachable this relationship between mass and speed is often expressed as a relationship between mass and energy that is e equal to mc square the very famous Einstein equation where e is energy m is mass and c is the speed of light we will discuss this equation later videos very detailed next general relativity Einstein was not done upsetting our understanding of time and space. We went on to generalize his theory by including acceleration and found that this distorted the shape of time and space. To stick with the above example, imagine the spaceship speeds up by firing its thrusters. Those on board will stick to the ground just as if they were they were on earth Einstein claimed that the force we call gravity is indistinguishable from being in an accelerating ship this by itself was not so revolutionary but when Einstein worked on the complex math it took him or around 10 years to work with that he discovered that space and time are curved near a massive objects. That means space and time is curved near a massive object like our air, star, something. Space and time is bending towards the massive object. This is the his uh, general relativity. relativity formula as for the theory of relate special relativity length time momentum and energy depends on the velocity of one reference frame relative to another a person on a spaceship moving almost closer to the speed of light will measure length time momentum and energy differently than an observer that is outside the ship that means whoever measure the speed of uh, measure the speed time momentum and the energy is different than who is measuring those things in in uh, normal observer outside the ship that is which is not moving 
the Lorentz factor lambda is the factor of which time, length and relativistic mass change for an object while that object is moving. While object is moving, the following equation is used very often in special relativity. Lambda is 1 over square root of 1 minus beta square, where beta equal to ratio of velocity of any object, vehicle, object, anything, of ratio to the velocity of the speed of the light. That is, its ratio is very, very small because nobody can reach the speed of the light. V is the relative velocity between two internal frames. Now, C is the uh, C is the speed of the light, nearly 3 into 10 raised to 3 into 10 raised to power 10 power 8 meter per second. For two frames at rest, lambda is 1. That means a body is not moving, the lambda is 1 because it is uh, both are uh, this here. That means here at rest means that body is not moving, means here it is 0, that is beta is 0, that means 1 by square root of 1 is 1, that is equal. Suppose for, uh, and suppose the speed is increases with the relative velocity between the two internal frames as the relative velocity approaches the speed of the light, means uh, omega equal to infinity. Suppose, consider this P by C is very near to 1. Very near to 1 means 1 minus 1 is 0, uh, square root of 0 is 0, 1 over 0 is not possible, that is it becomes infinity. Look at here, here suppose lambda equal 1 over square root of 1 minus 0. Of course V by 0 is, uh, V by C is not 0, it's not possible to reach but it's near to 0 that means that is its uh, lambda becomes infinity means uh, that is uh, the lambda is called the Lorentz vector becomes infinity due to that uh, very high speed of the body its mass also becomes infinity so this is the Lorentz formula for uh, that's called a relativity formula also. Now, so far we have done about relativity, the uh, Einstein's special relativity and general relativity, and we give some many examples also. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.